in Prescott, Arizona. I'm on my way to make three stops on the way to a car show in Seligman, Arizona on Route 66. Here's my dog, Bella. Stop number one made. I dropped my dog off at the babysitter. And uh, who gave me my love of old cars when I was a kid? Folks, my mom was coming to this one with me. Oh, don't fuck at me. <laughs> We're at the second meetup point. We're cruising north. There's a meetup spot in uh, Chino Valley. We're going to meet some more people. There's Granite Mountain right there. We met up with the guys in Chino Valley. Now we're on our way to uh, Seligman on Route 66. Seligman, Arizona for a Route 66 pinup contest and car show. Mustang. How about that thing moves? All right, here's Randy and his 25 track T, along with Mike Shundo. A bunch of vendors here. We're gonna check those out. All the way down there. There's 
more vendors. There's a choo choo train and more vendors. What's this I see up ahead? I've seen that car before. They're walking around with the pinups, taking pictures of them with cars. show you this car but there's music playing but there's two different songs playing one on either side of me so maybe you won't be able to tell what they are and I won't get copyrighted this is a 67 through 9 I think Suburban look at these flames it's clear coated so it won't rust and then there's barbed wire going between the rust and the regular part and then they got a saw up here as a visor um, they call this the Rusty Suburban. But on the door, two guns, garage route 66. I'm gonna go around the other side to see. The side has two doors, front and back. The other side should only have one. Rust in peace, and the rust bucket. Here goes Randy. Here's the driver's side. You see it's got one door. They didn't put the doors on the driver's side because they put, put it on the curbside of the car. Yeah. 
guess these cats do a nose to nose burnout. thing on this car today a <laughs> couple of thoughts on the show today the main thing that took place in Seligman Arizona on Route 66 at the pizza joint and that motel it was one property um, was a pinup contest they uh, had all the girls go around to 15 cars and do a photo shoot with each one and then the photos were being uploaded right away to the judges. And at the end of it, they crowned a queen, which I couldn't tell you who won. They sent out flyers saying uh, it was a car show and a motorcycle show, but they picked 15 cars and then parked them around the property with the backdrop drops that they wanted. They picked uh, 15 cars, motorcycles, 15 total, of the ones that they wanted out of the cars and motorcycles that showed up to the show. A lot of the cars that showed up to the show that didn't get picked to be in the photo shoot left right away. And I didn't get a picture of probably 30 or 40 cars because they left when they didn't get picked. You want to know what one of the cars that did get picked was? Today I did meet a lot, a lot of cool people and made some new friends on Facebook already. Chai, CJ, Bruce, Sasio Chungo, uh, Canto, um, Mike and Diane Shundo, 
So speaking of the cool people that I met today, um, Mike Shundo was over uh, looking at the Goldilocks, they called it the Fad T, uh, at the same time I was. And I had already met him, I was uh, Randy knows him, and he introduced us earlier and I said, I think I remember you from when I was a kid because I definitely know your name. And uh, he remembered my dad and we talked a lot. But uh, we were over at that Fad Tea, which is, we were over at the, what they called it, the, the Goldilocks, the Fad Tea that was like brownish gold, I guess. And uh, we were looking at it and I said, this, this looks like it's a, like a, like a 60s style. And uh, he knew a lot about it and he said, I'm pretty sure that this uh, was a Cal Automotive build, the style of the body and the fenders and the lightning rods and uh, just about everything on it. Mike said, this is Cal Automotive, who was the pioneer of fiberglass uh, bodies, which were used for racing and also for people building hot rod Model Ts. They're, you know, in 1960, they were using bodies that were 40 years or more older, made out of thin, crummy metal. So, you know, the frames that go with the title were, uh, the bodies weren't doing so good, but the frames are okay. So that's why fiberglass bodies came about. C. Canto did the hair for most of the girls in the show today. Um, she's opening her own salon in Flagstaff, Arizona called Curl Up and Die. <laughs> I'll put her info in the description. I met and talked to a lot of cool people today. If I didn't mention you, I'm sorry. Hot Rod Shoebox's top pick is the Ford Model T, Tall T, Fad T, Roadster, whatever you want to call it. They all apply. This is the car that everyone I talk to agrees is a Cal Automotive build by Kurt Hamilton and is a survivor from the 60s unfortunately the current owner has only owned it for 20 years and doesn't know the history that's too bad ah!